everyone and welcome back to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through what clearing is and how to use it so when it comes to results day if you need to use it you are ready. So first of all what is clearing? Essentially it's how universities fill all of their spaces which they didn't manage to fill in the first place. Now clearing isn't about failing and it's where everyone who didn't get the grades go not at all. You need to change your mindset around what clearing is. Clearing is about giving people different options, second chances, and for some people it might be finding a better option than they had in the first place. So clearing isn't about failure, it's about giving you the best possible chance to get onto a course which may actually be better than the one that you first applied for. So who can use clearing and how long can you use it for? So clearing actually opened on the 5th of July and you can apply through clearing up until the 17th of October and you can only apply for clearing if first of all you're applying after at the 30th of June, you didn't receive any offers or none that you wanted to accept. Maybe you didn't meet the conditions of your offers, meaning you didn't meet the grades. You might have paid the multiple choice application fee of £27, or maybe you've declined your firm place using the decline my place button in your application. So for example, you might have actually done better than your predicted grades, and therefore you want to choose a different university, which now you've got the grades for, you want to see if you can get into. So that is who can use use clearing, let's now go through how you use clearing. Well, step one, I recommend that you actually talk to a teacher if you can on results day, if you think you need to go through clearing. So double check with the teacher first of all, whether you definitely fit that criteria that I just went through. After that, the second thing you need to do is see which courses are available. And for that, you need to go to the UCAS website. And on the UCAS website, you can search what universities and courses are available. Now, this is the only place to get the official vacancy list. And it's gonna be constantly changing throughout the day as people accept or reject places based on their offers. So keep checking it, look for different universities, the subject you're interested in, but also maybe slight variations on the subject that you're interested in. And for each one, it will tell you whether there is availability and what grades they will be looking for. Once you've had a look at that vacancy list and maybe you've picked out a couple that you're interested in, the next step, step three is you have to contact contact the universities directly. So you will then need to phone up the admissions teams of that university, let them know that through clearing, you have found this particular course. So make sure you've got the course title and course code available, and they will want to know what grades you have got as well. Once you've given them that information, they will then decide whether they will offer you that position. So I recommend that you do that for a range of universities. When you're actually on the phone with them, that is not a formal acceptance. They will just be letting you know that they do have space for that course and with your grades they will accept you. That doesn't mean they have accepted you. So just get a range of options and check the course structure. Maybe ask about accommodation as well. You're going to want to know do they actually have accommodation left before you apply for it. So find out a little bit about the course and whether it does suit what you want as well as it just having spaces. So step four is once you have then got all of those options decide which one is the right one for you from that list and you add it to your UCAS application. So you need to sign back into your UCAS and then you reapply and you put that university and that course as the university that you want to apply for. Now you can only add one university at a time and once you have added it and clicked that that is the one you're going for, that is you formally accepting it. They then have to formally accept it in return and if they do, that's it. You are into that university. Now once that university does confirm your place, definitely get straight onto the student accommodation section of their website or ask for those details from them so you can get yourself sorted with accommodation as soon as possible. And remember there should be accommodation available because either that space was free in the first place or you're taking the space of someone else who didn't get the grades that they needed to for that place or maybe they did get the grades and they decided to decline the offer and look for something else through clearing as well. So just a little side note one question people do ask is can I use clearing if I did get the grades for my firm choice. Now there is lots of information on this on the UCAS website but the very short answer is yes you can but you can only do that if you reject all of your offers. So even if you got the grades you could still decline it and if you then decline it you cannot get that offer back. So make sure if you're going to do that you are 
definitely certain that you've already checked clearing, you've already called the universities and they will definitely take you. Bear in mind though, it's constantly changing on clearing. They might say, yes, they'd accept you with those grades. If another student gets in there first and takes the place, you will then lost that place on clearing and you've lost your original offer as well. Now, some people do choose to do that because they might do far better than their predicted grades. So maybe they were predicted lots of Bs and they ended up getting A stars and A's and they decide to decline their offers, go through clearing and get something that they thought wouldn't have been possible with their predicted grades. But just bear in mind that one is a risk. And then the final thing to make you aware of is clearing plus. Now if all of those processes I just talked you through sounds a bit too stressful for you having to do the searches, checking what is available, then clearing plus is the solution for you. It's essentially like a dating app but for finding what universities have spaces so you'd enter clearing plus and then it will have your details already on UCAS saying your grades what you're interested in because it's based on what you'd already applied for but you might be able to tweak that a bit as well and then you can just swipe through which universities have courses that would take you with those grades which are similar to your original course so you can just swipe 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 find the ones that sound of interest to you write down the details and then phone them so that might be a much quicker way to do it if you prefer the sound of it. So that's everything that you need to know about who can use clearing, how to use clearing and what to expect. So best of luck for results day and just bear in mind if you do end up needing to use clearing that doesn't mean you're a failure it's just an alternative option and route into university. Best of luck everyone and let me know how you do.